is kind of what I eat in a day. Wow, that's so good. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I literally just woke up, but I thought I would do a little intro. I'm gonna show you guys today just kind of what I eat in a day. I'm talking quietly because I just I just woke up and I also don't want to wake anyone up, but it's like around 10.45 right now, so I have class in like 45 minutes. So I like to have enough time to make breakfast before that class. We're gonna head on upstairs and make some breakfast. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you're interested. Don't forget to subscribe to Blendjet, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, let's get started. So the first part of my breakfast is just going to be a smoothie. So I'm using this berry medley, frozen bananas, apple cider vinegar, some milk, and that's pretty much it. And I don't measure anything, I just kind of put however much I want and blend it all up. It was a really pretty color, so I decided to put it in a cup instead of leave it in the blend jet. And then I just cooked up an egg and toasted some toast, and that was my breakfast. I still have about 15, 20 minutes before my class starts, so I'm eating in my bed. Here's kind of a close up of my smoothie. It's all cute and purple because it's a berry smoothie, which I'm excited about. And then I just have my toast with an egg. So I'm just gonna sit in my bed and eat my toast, drink my smoothie. Mmm. Time for lunch. I also got vaccinated today, so I'm gonna make a little sandwich. It's super quick, super easy, which is the best thing for me since I am so busy. I'll get out my sandwich stuff and show you guys how I like to make my sandwiches because we also have a little George Foreman grill slash panini press thing that I like to use with my sandwiches because it just like makes them nice and warm and it melts the cheese that I put. It's just really great. So I'm gonna show you guys. So I use whole wheat bread and I put mayo and ketchup and ketchup might be weird to some people but I promise it tastes good, it's not weird. <laughs> Then I use honey smoked turkey and I add some ultra thin cheddar cheese, just one slice. Then I add some spinach to make sure I get some vegetables as well as two slices of tomato. And I also add this like special aged cheddar cheese just cause it adds a little bit more flavor. I don't add a lot of it. Once I'm done, I get out the panini press thing. I don't really know what it's called, honestly, and I put my sandwich into it. But while that cooks in there, I decided to make some iced green teas, so I was just heating up the water. Then I took my sandwich out, and it looked so good. I cut it into triangles because I'm three. <laughs> but look how good it looks! I added a splash of orange juice before I poured the green tea just to give it a little bit more flavor, and it was really good. It's fast, it's easy, simple, and it's healthy. And it tastes good. Okay guys, I it's after lunch. My food has had some time to digest and I am now going to do a little workout. I'm not gonna do anything crazy just because I did get my vaccine and I feel fine. I'm just like kind of scared to like go too hard and then I don't know. I think it's just my brain being scared, but either way, I'm not going to do anything crazy. I think I'm gonna do something short and low intensity. You can check out the workout workout video that I did if you want more information on my workouts but I'm gonna go into my app and just choose a workout to do and then I'm also going to have a little post-workout smoothie type thing since my workout isn't gonna be that intense I'm not going to do like a full-on protein shake but I did go on Pinterest and I found a little like post-workout smoothie thing so I think I'm gonna make that after I work out yeah let's go Thank you. 
Okay, that was a super quick workout. It was like 16 minutes and it was pretty low intensity, but we're gonna go make our post-workout shake. So I'm gonna find the recipe on Pinterest and show you guys. But I have a little smoothies slash juices board. Looks like that. There's this thing called smoothie recipes for everything. And there's one that says post-workout. It says within 30 to 60 minutes, jumpstart recovery and restore electrolyte balance. Balance. So it's cinnamon, peanut butter, banana, and milk, and that's literally it. So it's like a peanut butter banana shake. And I'm excited because peanut butter is really growing on me. I used to really not put it in many things until I started making a bunch of smoothies, and now I really like it. So let's go make ourselves a shake. Like I said earlier, the ingredients are peanut butter. I like to add apple cider vinegar, milk, bananas, and cinnamon. And it actually didn't give any measurements, so I just put however much I wanted and blended it all up. So I wanted to show you guys that since I'm about to drink this just straight out of the blend jet, there is a lock mode that you can use so that like you don't accidentally press the button and like blend it and it goes everywhere. So all you have to do is first of all, just make sure that the lid is on and secure just in case. But all you have to do is hold down this button for three seconds. A purple light will like complete a circle and then that's how you know that the lock mode is on. So I'll, I'll show you. The lid's on. I'm gonna hold this down for three seconds. See how that purple circle went all the way and then it flashed and then it was like, okay, you're good. And now the lock mode is active. If I accidentally hit it, it's not gonna go. And that's it. So now I'm gonna sit here, do some editing. It's currently around 6.30. I guess it's some people's dinner time, but not me. I'll probably eat dinner around eight. So I'm gonna drink my little post-workout shake and try to get some work done. So I will see you guys at dinner. Wow, that's so good. Wow. I was just editing and doing homework for the past hour or so, and it's now eight o'clock and I'm hungry. For dinner, I'm going to be making some pasta. It is one of my go-to pastas. I like mix Alfredo sauce and regular marinara sauce. I add some spinach to get some greens. It's like, it's so fast. Basically the common theme in my meal are they're fast and they're easy but I also try to make them as healthy as I can because that's really important to me so I have been trying to include more smoothies because that way I'm getting my fruits in possibly vegetables depending on the smoothie so I'm gonna make some pasta and I'll take you guys along with me so for this pasta, I just used half a box of shells, marinara sauce, and alfredo sauce. I just did half of each of the bottles and then added some seasoning. I also added some leftover chicken that I had made, some spinach for some extra greens, and then I also added some Parmesan cheese and mixed it all together. Okay guys, that is all that I'm gonna eat today. The pasta was really, really good. I think that might've been the best pasta that I've made so far. I do not eat the same things every day. I do like to switch it up, but I do keep the same theme of like simple, but also trying my best to be healthy. Like I've, I feel like I said that, but <laughs> yeah. And it also just helps that the blend jet makes it easy for things to be done really quickly, especially with like smoothies and stuff. So that's it's always really nice whenever I need something super quick if I don't have a lot of time. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like it, subscribe to both Blendjet and my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. What am I even saying? I love food.